We're getting Deadpool 3 later on in 2024, and this is an odd MCU film because it's about Deadpool and Wolverine from the Fox X-Men films. You're going to get Deadpool played by Ryan Reynolds and Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman. Also, set leaks that have come out within the last few months have suggested that there'll be a lot of cameos. How many cameos we end up getting in the movie is something that we can't know until the film actually comes out. But we know for sure this film is bringing back some of those X-Men characters. Now, Deadpool 3, to be clear, isn't a traditional X-Men film. I would say it doesn't seem that way. Like how Deadpool 1 and 2 were, one, were part of the Fox X-Men universe, but at the same time... They're not traditional classic X-Men films. They're pretty separate from the rest of the films in the franchise. There are some references to the other X-Men films in Deadpool 1 and 2, but they're doing their own thing with a different character, and therefore they stand apart from the other X-Men films. And Deadpool 3 looks like it's going to be doing about the same thing. Also, what's odd about this movie is that Yes, it's part of the MCU. It's being done by Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, Disney, but it also feels like another one of the Fox X-Men films. The biggest difference, of course, is this film is being made by Disney, not Fox. Is now 20th Century Fox is under the Disney umbrella because Disney purchased Fox. So Disney ultimately are the is the company that's going to be making Deadpool 3. And also Wow, this is going to be the first MCU film to ever be rated R. All their other films have at most been rated PG-13. So this is a big change for Marvel Studios. They're making a movie about a character who's famous for not being family-friendly. That's always been the whole point of Deadpool. Is that he's kind of similar to Spider-Man. He also does the wisecracks, makes a lot of jokes. But he's not family-friendly, and he's not a black and white hero he's a more morally gray anti-hero so that'll be a big change of pace for the mcu i mean not to say that there's been zero characters who are less traditional heroes because moon knight for example is i would say not really a traditional black and white hero not a character who i could see being part of the avengers he's a bit more of a compromised person in that Mark Stevens clearly is a lot of trauma and is not mentally well. But for Marvel Studios to make a movie about Deadpool is different. Combine that with the fact that we're getting Hugh Jackman's Wolverine back after his story was wrapped up so well in Logan, which I think is just a fantastic fantastic movie one of the best comic book films honestly we're just getting wolverine back it's like how is that going to play out exactly and also will deadpool's meta humor where he breaks the fourth wall actually translate well to the mcu that's something i'm concerned about because i thought that she hulk went too far in being meta it feels to me like the people who are making that show preemptively decided to try to troll their potential trolls. It feels like they were preemptively pointing out, calling out, mocking people who are watching She-Hulk. Because ultimately, the bad guys are these dudes on the internet, which is meta-commentary on the people who are watching She-Hulk. It's like, oh, that seems weird. You preemptively decided to make fun of dudes on the internet, to people who will be watching your show. And so I'm really interested to see will Deadpool's meta humor actually work or not. So I'm very interested in Deadpool Free because it feels like an oddity.